Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at the electron shells or how to draw the electron arrangement for an atom. So just as a super quick recap, you need to know that the nucleus is in the middle and this is the protons and neutrons in it. And we have shells around the outside which have electrons in it. When we look at the periodic table, we're going to have a symbol, we're going to have a mass number, and we're going to have the atomic number. The atomic number is the one that we're interested in today. The atomic number tells us the number of protons, and it also tells us the number of electrons. So in the middle, we have our nucleus, and we have shells going out from inside it. On the first shell, we can have two electrons. On the second shell, we can have eight electrons, and on the third shell, we can have eight electrons. And this 288 is important when we want to try and draw the arrangement of electrons around an atom. So I've put here um, little boxes to show where we can put the, uh, the electrons. And once you've worked out the number of electrons you want to draw, you want to put them in in this arrangement. So we have two on the first shell, one, two, and then we are slowly filling up the um, second shell. And electrons like to be in pairs, um, so I always draw them going around like this. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 electrons. So in the first shell we have two, in the second shell we have eight, and in the third shell we have eight again. So we're going to try a couple of examples together. So first of all we are going to go for chlorine, which if you look at the atomic number is 17, so it has 17 electrons. And electrons are traditionally drawn as crosses. So I'm just going to go through and fill in the boxes until I get to 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I've got my 17 electrons around there. Now this is a, this is a touch messy. They're not going to ask you to do this in your GCSE exam. In your GCSE exam, you're going to get um, your nucleus in the middle and you're probably just going to get three shells around the outside on which you'll be asked to draw crosses. So this is the way we do it. We remember we have two in the middle shell, two in the middle shell here, um, eight in this shell and eight in this shell. So again we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17 until we get up to 17 which is chlorine. Okay next up we are going to have a look at magnesium. Magnesium is atomic number is 12 so this tells us it has 12 electrons. So again I'm just going to go through putting crosses in the boxes until I get to 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and again this looks a bit messy, so if our GCSE exam they're probably going to want a nice. So we have magnesium, it's um, atomic number is 12. In your GCSE exam they're probably going to give you something that looks like this and they want you to fill it in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the next one I'm going to try is helium and the assumption number for helium is 2. So 1, 2. Drawing the nice neat picture of that. That's my nucleus in the middle there. Here are my shells. And helium just has one two electrons. 
So now we've done a few together, um, I would like you to have a go at drawing the electron arrangement for oxygen by yourself and then come back and check your answer. So oxygen's atomic number is 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we draw that a bit neater, here is our nucleus in the middle, here are our shells, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for your GCSE you need to know the electron arrangement all the way up to calcium. Um, I've only drawn three shells here. Um, because those are the most the most common type of questions that you'll be asked, but you do need to know all the way up to calcium, which has 20 electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then I need to add another shell onto the outside and put 19 and 20 for calcium in there. So the nice neat picture for calcium, that's my first shell, second shell, third shell, fourth shell, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 for calcium. So that was the long way around of doing it. I'm now going to show you a shortcut way of doing it. When you look at your periodic table, you'll see that there are groups that go down and there are periods that go across. The group that something is in will tell you the number of electrons that's in the outer shell, and the period will tell you the number of shells that something has. So uh, we're looking at nitrogen now. Nitrogen's atomic number is seven, so it tells it has seven electrons. It's in group five, so that's telling us it has five electrons on its outer shell, and it's in period two, so it tells it has two shells. So this is my nucleus here. The period tells us it has two shells. The atomic number tells us it has seven electrons and five in its outer shell. We know that two can only go in the first shell and then uh, three, four, five, six, seven can go in its um, second shell. So atomic number is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Group five, one, two, three, four, five electrons in its outer shell. Period two, one, two shells. Next thing you look at sodium, its atomic number is 11, so that tells it has 11 electrons. It's in group number one, so that tells us it has one electron in its outer shell. And it's in period number three, so that tells us it has three shells. So this is my nucleus here. I know that I need to draw three shells because it's in period number three. And I start from the middle with my two electrons on the first shell filling up to 11, and I know to expect one electron on my outer shell. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So sodium's atomic number is 11, so we have 11 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is in group 1, so we have one electron on the outer shell. It is in period 3, so we have 1, 2, 3 shells. So next we're going to have a go at drawing neon. Its atomic number is 10, which means it has 10 electrons. It's either, depending on which way your periodic table calls it, group 8 or group 0. This just means it has a full outer shell and is in period 2. So there's my um, nucleus. It's in period 2, so I know it's going to have 2 shells. I know I need to draw 10 electrons, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons it is in group 8 or group 0, so I know it's going to have a full outer shell. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is in period 2, so I know it's going to have 1, 2 
shells. <laughs>